Hey everyone, welcome back to the North Apolog. Vince here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, of course, and thank you very much for watching. So, we're back. This is going to be one of those situations where I feel like we're really, really going to be seeing some major grinding on today's episode. And the reason for that is because we're so far into the game now, okay? We have lots and lots of different talents available now because we're nearing the end technically we still have three talent points until the complete end of the game at least in my opinion although i'm sure you can keep going till you can fill up every single talent available more than likely i did have a pretty good run yesterday with the bombers but i'm thinking of specifically using rockets on today's episode with maybe the military grade stuff with the gun rock we'll see hey so i do know at the moment i do have the bomber build still technically there's the shrine for the first time, by the way. Provides housing for four norbs. I can extract the sword in the stone. Right, and that sword is... Where is it? Here. Okay. It's going to bring a whole new element of gameplay, potentially. Interesting, interesting. I need to get that star out of the sky. So, next thing I need to do is build the rock analysis lab, which shouldn't take too long here. Just purchase the rock analysis lab now. So, hopefully I can get that star soon, everyone. Zybelium collection. It's 100 of the shards, which I just got now. Okay, so now we can actually play properly here. I think next thing I'll get is the fire arrows, then we get the ice arrows, we can use them both at the same time, just remember that. But I will get my bombers now as well to start getting some damage done on this pile of shards. Let's purchase our bombers here everyone. Good. We've got 13 bombers coming in. I need to get ultra boost, but it's so expensive. That's the only problem with ultra boost, guys. It's one of those weird situations where I have to kind of wait until I can actually unlock it. Increase capacity here as well. Now my bombers are actually doing some pretty decent damage there. Very nice. I need to get fire arrows as soon as possible. I might just turn off auto housing just for now. I'm going to actually save some of my money. Okay, fire arrows are now being equipped, everyone. I should really start generating some shards, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Nice. About to get that compression event. Got weak spot discovery there as well. Let's activate that. Almost caused a compression. Yes, we did. Okay, we now have a first compression event and the star's almost back to base already. I'm just really worried about all the experience we're going to need for the next talent point. I definitely want to build a shrine when possible as well. I'll just purchase these two buildings here. So I have my first star already. Do I want to do time shift impact or not? I mean, if I'm doing a bomber build, I probably should, right? But either way, I'll purchase one mountaineer. Purchase the ice arrows there. Definitely need to get that gun rock ASAP. Just means I need to increase my damage output though as well. I really do like rocket arrows, but potentially I can save the star. Hmm, it's hard. I'll get rocket arrows for now. I have a lot of Norps available here, so I might just purchase some more bombers. We've got 20 bombers at the moment. Let's get some more collectors as well, since we only have 10. I can increase their speed though, which I will do. Increase capacity. Okay, nice. So at the moment we're, what, at a 4,000 collection rate compared to a 12,000 damage output. So potentially could get a Mountaineer here. He's, he's running around there, it looks like. Okay, good. Don't know why he's running back to back. Need to get that rock on fire continuously. That's for sure. Slowly but surely about to cause another compression event here, I feel. Alright, gun rock finally purchased there, everyone. Then when I get my first rifle norp, we can light this rock on fire. And that's really going to kick things off. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. There's a the gaddle norp to begin with as well. Hmm. I'll get the gaddle norp. Why not? Get them to shoot the fire arrows. And I'll purchase the rifle norp as well. So now we should be seeing our first DPS increase. Hopefully we'll see a compression event also. Increase capacity a bit there. Nice. Reclamation's really kicking in here. But now my gaddle norp is going crazy. Okay, that's definitely going to cause a compression event, everyone. See the massive damage increase a gaddle norp can do? It really is powerful. Look at that. Just spewing out shards now. Let me increase housing. Increase capacity. All right, things are looking up right now. So I definitely think the Gatanorp is probably one of the most powerful characters in the game so far. Let me build some extra housing here as well. Collection rate definitely needs to be increased here, it looks like. Let me burst just more of these runners. Increase the capacity. From 200,000 damage output, everyone. We need to have way more of a collection rate at this point in the game. Another compression event is about to occur. Jeez. Where's Balloon Gunner? There it is. Purchase that. Purchase weak spot frequency as well. Okay. 72,000 damage is absorbed in that ice right now. There's two stars in the sky. So a huge amount of damage output at this point. Gonna get grenade launcher and purchase another rifle. Oh, 100,000 damage. Wow, man. That is ridiculous. It's gonna cause a compression event, I wonder. Yes, it did. I wanna try and get extra housing next. 256,000 of the shards needed and one star, which we should be able to get once this guy returns it. Just takes time. Let me increase capacity there a bit as well. You see, there is break time, everyone. I don't know if it's worth actually getting break time right now. It's going to slow down my compression event and just pretty much income generation. I might get another rifle knob before I do that. Break time. See if that helps. Okay, I have another rifle knob now. Very nice. Is it worth me getting more bombers, I wonder? 150,000 for the ultra boost increase there. I mean, right now my rockets are doing the most damage. Let's be real. Let me put on break time, everyone. There we go. Break time's now activated. 
Let's see if a compression vent can happen. I can purchase some more bombers here as well. But they're not really doing that much damage output compared to my rockets and missiles. Looks like we have quite the reclamation happening here. It's because of break time, I think. That's the thing. I may have to stop freezing this thing, potentially. We'll see. Get him to shoot fire. I won't use ice just quickly and see if this helps. I need those shards to go out faster. My collection speed's way too slow here. Maybe some drones ought to help. I'll just grab those drones quickly, everyone. I do have two drones in the sky right now, but they're not really getting me the collection rate that I need. The two Gattle Norps hopefully ought to do the trick. I have a few more drones as well to help out here against that reclamation. Almost 200,000 of the damage dealt now to this rock. So, so close. Doing 500,000 damage at the moment. Just keep that in mind, everyone. We have another star available as well. Just trying to see where I should spend my Norps. There's the Academy, which is quite good. Or I can get my Zynorp. The Zynorp could help as well. It's interesting times. There we go, compression event. Thank the Lord. I was a bit worried there, but we got it. Okay, so now everything can go back to normal. I'll get additional housing with that star, actually. We'll do that. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Reclamation nullification has been unlocked, which I will get. That's a star as well. That's a 1.74 million purchase of shards. Oh boy. Okay, I got delivery rush quickly. That should help my collection speed, hopefully. Let me purchase more of these runners, honestly. I think that's the best thing I can do at this point. Increase our collection speed a whole bunch. So I can get the extra housing just now. Then I'll get the additional one. So I need to get nine Norps. Okay, I just purchased additional housing, everyone. Hopefully that helps me out in the long run. Now we're actually getting deeper into the gameplay here, which is good. Look at all the Norps we have now coming in. I think that's because of additional housing, bro. Legit. Nice. I notice I don't really have any drones right now either, it seems. Let me purchase the drones quickly. So many Norps coming in. Wow, want to get ultra boost here for a five times damage increase. Do that now. Let's purchase more of these bombers, see if that actually helps. I'll go 40 bombers. We have an equal amount of collection to damage ratio almost here. There's a GET protocol, which I will get so I can get the rockets. That's a bunch more of population needed as well. Hmm. So then I can get vulnerability now, guys, once this rocket's built. You get ready for this. There it is, vulnerability. Beautiful. Okay, so now... That rock should give me a whole bunch more of damage, hopefully. We'll see in a second. Almost a million damage there, halfway through. Wow. Okay, this is going to be a big one. We're doing 1.3 million damage output right now. That's pretty cool. You can see my experience bars barely moved, by the way. This is what I was talking about. Getting the next talent point is going to be quite difficult. That was a lot of shards there. Wow, vulnerability is helping a lot. Okay, increase the speed again of my collectors. That should boost the collection rate. Looks like it has. I'm going to purchase more runners up to 40. Another compression event is about to occur here, by the way. We have 2 million damage output. I might purchase the Garden as well, I think. Try and get 2 times the damage. Then I can purchase a Zion Orb, and then I'll try and purchase the Shrine. Everything's happening at once now, everyone. Wow. Alright, compression event has now been triggered. I now have the Garden, which I want to use only the green stuff here. I don't know what this does, like selecting this stuff, everyone. I guess it's for the Shockwave and Directors. I guess I'll leave them all on, okay? Find the chosen is acquired. There's nine Norps needed for that. And that's for that sword. Interesting. I wonder what's going to happen here, hey? Here's the chosen trying to pull that sword out of the rock. Is he going to do it? No, I don't think he did. He blew up. So I'm hoping that something cool happens when that sword comes out. Okay, so at this point in the game, I need more of a collection rate. Let me increase capacity even more. I think that's helping a bit. We're starting to get experience, thankfully, which is very helpful. I'm a million collection right now. I can get some more rockets. So many choices now in this game. I do want to get a Zynorp, I think, for extra collection. I just purchased Enriched Puke for two times damage output there. I hope that was a good choice. Whoa, what was that? Oh, we have the sword. Okay. My Norp has the sword, everyone. What is this going to do, I wonder? Look at him flying over slowly but surely. Is he going to put that into that rock? Bro, I hope he does. Here we go. What's going to happen? Yep. He's put it into the rock. Oh my god, look at the damage output. Bro, the sword. Are you serious? Okay, achievement unlocked. Embedded Norp caliber in the rock that was 10 million damage output there wow that instantly caused a compression event though that was great man that really helped a lot Jeez, things are really picking up now in this game aren't they just purchased a zine orp there as well and now the shrine find the chosen is acquired reclaim fewer shards rock when the rock reclaims shards 50 percent of those shards are instead flung back into the pile no refunds apparently Overdrive. When reaching overdrive thresholds, a sword appears and deals 3% of all damage dealt in the last minute. It's pure damage. Okay. Then we have power. Damage unaffected by the multiplier is now affected by multiplier at 13 efficiency. Current multiplier is 2.14. Hmm. I mean, is that what I want to do? I guess I'll go power. We'll see if that helps. I can only have one thing on at a time, by the way, but I use power. Who knows if that's going to help or not. We're going to have X rockets and Y rockets again. I'll purchase both of them. 
Let's see if that helps me. Making some good speed here with collection. We're actually starting to get some decent experience here, it seems. Quite a bit of damage output on this rock right now as well. We're doing 4.57 million damage per minute. Jeez, man. It's barely making that go up because I'm on the eighth tier now of compression. That's why. I was thinking why that's happening. Reclamation nullification would have been pretty decent as well, but I don't think I can get that one just yet. I can save up for it though. I just got it then, everyone. Reclamation nullification. So that rock stops taking in the shards again and just allows me to keep spitting them out. Next on the list is the Gattle Norp ammo, but I reckon I might purchase another rifle Norp there. There we go, I got two more. We're on a 2.5 million collection rate. I want to get it further than ever today, if possible. Like, you just look at all these rockets in the sky, you got the bombers, everything's happening at once here. Then you have the bomber increase, which is three Norps, so I'll purchase that as well. So for every bomber on the field to get a damage increase, that's pretty decent, I think. I'm gonna save up for the Gattle Norp now. That's for the ammo, by the way. Done. Just purchased ammo for the Gattle Norp. Okay, that should hopefully help. We're almost dealing 10 million damage, everyone. We're really getting closer and closer to it. See, I wonder if we can get a compression event happening today as well. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if we'll have the damage output for that, though. That's any problem. Jeez, look at all these rockets coming in overhead. A lot of damage being done. 2 million damage being held there. Sticky floral residue is a pretty good one as well. It makes it so my troops don't get knocked back as far. Getting quite a bit of experience. Very good. I'm thinking about purchasing more runners. I don't know if it's a good idea. We're doing 5 million collection rate right now. Capacity. I reckon this far into the game, I need to work on doing more damage if possible. So I'll take another... Rifle Norp. 8 million damage output at the moment. Drones cost a fortune, by the way. Jeez. Let me collect some of these shards with the drones. Where's that sword? Is that sword gone? I guess that sword's no longer can be used. No, it can't. That was like a once-off attack. Damn, that was really good. That reclamation's happening on the rock again, though, sadly. I wonder why. My damage has slowed down a lot. Oh, there we go. 7 million damage. I don't know what just happened then. I need more damage, everyone. Let me get sticky floral residue here. Stops knocking back my bloody... Norp, there we go, that's better. That should hopefully help my damage output, we'll see. 8 million damage at the moment. Things are getting difficult, man, more and more as time goes on. So much experience, which I'm pretty happy about. Don't get me wrong, I don't think I'm going to be able to cause another compression event, though. Because as soon as I stop them from collecting right, that reclamation's going to kick in straight away. Like, if I go to break quickly, let's see. I think I need more drones at this point, dude. Try and match up with that damage rate. Just purchase more runners there as well. Auto housing is on, I just purchased a few more homes. See how that goes. I mean, I think we made some great progression today. Definitely. Almost 10 million damage output now at this point in the game. Can't really go wrong with that, can you? I guess I can keep upgrading my rockets. 6.16 million for the next one. Wow. We're doing over 10 million damage now, finally, everyone. And we're doing 10 million collection. Beautiful. That's a lot, man. Don't get me wrong. We're not going to be causing any compression event anytime soon. Let me purchase up to 50 runners and get all these upgrades, I guess, for my garden. Flower power would have been nice, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about that one. Just purchasing more runners here as well. See if that helps me at all. But look at the amount of damage we can deal. I swear it just said 7 million shards, dude. I'm not even joking. 12 million damage now being dealt. This is just intense. So many rockets in the sky as well. My guys are collecting that fast now. It's actually clearing the whole board out now. My guys are clearing out the board so fast. My guys have that high of collection rate. They're literally picking up everything before it bursts. Jeez, man. That's intense. Maybe another rocket would be good, though. 15.2 million. Oh, is auto houses on still? Yeah, it is. Let me turn that off. <laughs> Let's use so much resources. I was just hoping to nab some more collection rate, but it looks like it's getting capped out at around 7.8 million. We'll see. Just wanted to grab some more experience, and I reckon I'll prestige everyone. I don't think there's much more I can do here. 10 million collection rate. Getting a whole bunch of experience, dude. We're barely moving now at this point, though. I reckon I might prestige now, to be honest with you. I should see how much this is going to cost. Look at this number, everyone. Wow, that's a lot of shards being spat out. I'm just going to prestige now, I think. Done. I just prestige, claim that experience while I have it. Might as well get going while the going's good. What a run that was. All right, everyone. I will see you on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you then. Hey, everyone. Vince here. Welcome back to the Norp Apologue. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the quest to get the next talent point. I do hope you all do continue to enjoy my series on the Norp Apologue. What a game this is, okay? The thing is about the Norp Apologue, everyone, it is quite a difficult game once you get into it. And I know I have had some comments from fans and long-time viewers that yeah, the game does become pretty much unbeatable, but I do believe you can beat it since I'm almost at that point now where I'm chasing down the last bunch of talent points. And what I mean by that is because even though the talent tree does have a whole bunch of talents, right? If I quickly show you the actual talent tree once I can get this next runner, there we go. You guys can see here that I have three talent points left before I unlock the last major bracket here of skills. And once I get that area unlocked, I'm done with the game in my opinion. 
I'm just so glad you guys are enjoying the series and supporting the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, doing all that crazy stuff. My goal today is to obviously try and get the next talent point. I don't know if it's going to be possible or not. Only time really is going to tell. Just getting that balloon up into the sky straight away there. Purchase weak spot discovery as well because, you know, no harm in that at all. Unleashing all those shards instantly. I do want to get the double housing as soon as possible as well. That's always a talent I seem to skip out on, which is a big mistake on my end. Let me just get fire arrows to begin with here. Now, I generally have a build for the bombers, everyone, okay? So let me just purchase some bombers now to activate some sort of DPS because we have none at the moment. And then I'm probably going to stick to the rifle norps. We'll see how that goes down. I definitely feel like the rifle norps are the strongest characters in this game, along with the gattle norp. They've just really done so well for me over time. I just purchased ice arrows there and looks like we've just had a compression event. There we have it. Beautiful. Looks like our little balloons on the way back with that Zybelium star there. Let me continue to purchase housing straight away. Going to increase capacity, increase runners to 25. 3,303 there. Or 30. <laughs> oh, we already had the star captured. That's excellent. That's a very good start for us, everyone. Just waiting for the gun rock right about now. The only problem is the rock's actually frozen at the moment. I think that's because I unlocked the ice shards there. A little bit of shards coming out of that rock. I mean, should I really set it to fire for now? I think so. I'll set it to fire for now, everyone. There we go. That's probably going to help me a lot better at the moment. Don't really have the DPS for frozen, in my opinion. The only problem is, at this time, we have to try and actually figure out how to get that gun rock pretty quickly. I don't really want to use any more norps than I have to. There's rocket arrows as well, which is very helpful for the Gattle Norp. Rocket arrows. Increased capacity there of the collectors. I really want to get speed as well. 3.3 there. It shouldn't take me too long, in theory. We have a pretty equal collection rate now to the damage rate. I mean, I see... <laughs> Hang on. It seems fire is really taking over here. But I just purchased the double time speed increase there for the collectors. That's really going to help. So gun rocks next, everyone. We need 10,000 of the shards, which shouldn't take too long. I just purchased the gun rock. Very nice. Now we can get our rifle norps and really kick things off. I can also get the gattle norp as well. So just started off with the gattle norp, everyone. That's really going to be helpful. And I purchased a rifle norp as well there. Okay, so they're going to be shooting fire. And I want you guys to be shooting ice at the archery range. There we go. Hopefully it freezes it in time. Yes, it did. Excellent. Okay, now the serious damage is about to kick off here, I feel. So get ready for this mayhem. Look at this damage meter go up, everyone. This is definitely going to cause a compression event, I feel. Like, it just keeps on going up. <laughs> Almost at 100,000 already of damage output. Seriously. Here we go. Get ready for this. Yep, straight to a compression event instantly. Knew that was going to happen. Very, very nice. Let me purchase a Mountaineer here as well. Save up for another Rifle Norp. Done. Got another Rifle Norp now. Scatter Norps are out of control, bro. Seriously. Look at this, man. Did we just trigger another compression event? I think we did. We're in fourth compression now, guys. Two stars in the sky. Okay, lovely. Let me build housing again. Let me purchase more collectors. Hopefully, this is a good use of my Norps. I think it is. We'll soon find out, hey? There is break time there. Just purchase break time. We should definitely get another compression any moment, to be honest with you. Now, look at that tower already, dude. You wait until this thing bursts. It's going to be intense. You seen the Gattle Norp stop going back so far. He literally runs across the whole map. All right, here we go. This is going to be another compression event. Yep, there it is. Done. Fantastic. Okay, things are looking really good right now. Purchased another rifle norp there. Purchased a grenade launcher as well. Definitely can't complain with this, dude. Now, I have one star, which is very helpful. Let me just try and build more housing here. Extra bonus there. See, I'm trying not to buy housing because I'm hoping to get additional housing before I do that. It's going to save me in the long run, but oh well. So much I can do here. Got the academy there as well. Garden. It's for another star. Makes a pretty decent progress so far, by the way, everyone. Getting very close now to the additional housing. Very good. Okay, now I have additional housing. So that means I can build extra houses, and they're going to actually give me an extra one every third house. So now I can get back to doing some good DPS. Let me purchase the next Gattle Norp. Thank you, game. They want to purchase a Rifle Norp as well. I hope my theory is correct here, everyone. Just keep spamming these builds, and we should be okay. We'll soon find out, right? I mean, it looks like it's working pretty well right now. <laughs> Maybe we'll get another compression event soon. You never know. Almost had 100k damage output there. Oh, yeah. Once one Gattle Norp stops, the other one starts firing. Gotta love that. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. Is it gonna cause a compression event? Ooh, close. Very close. Let me purchase more of these boys. It's gonna purchase so many runners, dude. There we go. So many runners. So much capacity. Beautiful. Let's see if I can cause a compression event eventually here. It's getting closer and closer. I can't cause these guys to have a break as well if I have to. That may help. We'll see. Then we have delivery rush. <laughs> so many things. Speed increase, delivery rush. Let me grab all of them. And capacity increase. Reclamation's trying to kick in here as well. That's okay. I can get another Gattle Norp if I want to. There it is. Compression event is now triggered, guys. Very nice. Okay, so we have our next star as well now. So now I need the GET protocol. 
which I'll get that now. Let's unlock the missiles. I need five population for that though. That's the only downside. Maybe I built way too much runners. <laughs> oh man. We'll see, hey? We will see. We do have a lot of runners, I can tell you that much. Additional housing's kicked in here, I think. Oh, right, there we go. Nice. Almost have enough of the rockets now. Now, does that balloon have another star? Yes, it does. Cool. I can also purchase the garden, though. See, that's a good purchase as well. Hmm. Either way. Rockets are now up. Just purchase vulnerability. See how much that's going to help me in the long run here. I know vulnerability is a very solid ability. Let me just purchase, I reckon, the shrine or the garden. We'll go to the garden. Next, we'll do the shrine. So I think we're doing some pretty decent damage output right now, at least. Got the rockets coming overhead as well. Garden's now built, at least. Beautiful. Okay, cool stuff, everyone. That's my sixth compression, by the way. So if I make these guys have a break, what's going to happen here again? We'll find out in a second. I definitely want to try and get the shrine eventually as well, but I'll try and cause another compression event. Let's see. Did over a million damage there. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to get another compression event, I feel. Slowly but surely. Reclamation's trying to kick in here. I can't get another Gattle Norp just yet, but what I can do is actually get a uh, Rifle Norp. Would that be something I should get right now, maybe? Yeah, we'll do that now. So close to that compression event as well. That is unbelievable. Seriously. Let me send these boys back to work quickly and get rid of that freaking reclamation. It's coming up. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Actually, if I make them on a break, I might be able to get this. If we can last the 10 seconds, we might be able to get a compression event here. We'll see. Come on, game. So close. Let's see if I can nab it right at the end. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. Fantastic. Okay, let's increase capacity there of the runners. We just have so many runners right now. Okay, so at least I get another star. Reclamation nullification would be a good one as well. Maybe we should get that next. Now, right, we're doing 2 point something million damage right now. I do want to try and get the shrine. The game wants me to increase my collection rate, it looks like here. So I'm increasing capacity. And that's working quite a bit. I would have thought 77 of the runners would be good enough. We'll see. I do want to get that shrine again. Doing 3 million damage at the moment. Nice. Purchase a shrine, guys. Beautiful. A lot of rockets coming out there. <laughs> Find the Chosen. Done. So now I should get the sword, if I'm correct. And that's going to deal some big damage. Ideally. Launching a whole bunch of rockets right now. There's a double damage. Beautiful. 2 million collection rate right now as well. We're slowly getting experience again. Wow, there we go. Nice. Okay, I can get Reclamation. Nullification. Just purchase that then. I think it's going to help me in the long run for sure. Fingers crossed. These little guys are trying to get the sword now. <laughs> Once they do get that sword, it's going to be huge damage, everyone. I'm letting you know right now. Just waiting to purchase another rocket here. Done. Purchase another Y rocket. Hopefully that helps. The rifle norp is 2.6 million. There's that sticky floral residue, which would be really, really helpful. Or I can get the Gattle Norp ammo. I reckon I might try and get the ammo. 2.3 million, everyone. That's going to help my Gattle Norp a lot, I feel. I do need to try and get more experience here, though. I did just get Gattle Norp ammo, by the way. Oh, there's a sword. Wow. Okay. Look at that damage increase. Absolutely love that. Yes, yes, yes. So if I make these guys stop working for a second, can we get a compression event sneaky? A little bit of a sneaky compression event, everyone. We should be able to do it legitimately. This should be a compression. Oh my god, it's so close. You're kidding me. You are joking. That's okay. We'll get it anyway. Don't worry. Don't worry. I can get some drones here as well if I need to. Let me purchase one drone. See if that helps my collection rate at all. Though granted, it is probably going to mess with my build a bit. But that's okay. We should get compression event. Oh my god. It's so close. It's ridiculous. Reclamation nullification is not really working right now, it seems. That's not good. Oh boy. I have to keep collecting here, it looks like. The game's going to let me do my little trick. It's actually trying to take back the rock still. I thought I purchased reclamation nullification, but I guess that didn't work. It triggered a drawback. That's definitely going to mess that up. Big time. Oh, but we're so close to that compression event. It's just mayhem on the screen right now. Got another like, rifle norp there as well. Let's see if that helps. Yes, we did it. Compression event triggered. Beautiful. And that's going to be our only star, I reckon, going forward. We're on seventh tier. We might be able to make the eight. Who knows? Have to figure this out now, though. Let me try and purchase more rockets and see if that helps. We'll find out together. I mean, I'm sure getting a Zion Orb would help. I think that would definitely boost his collection rate. We have enriched puke for two times damage output there. That's three population. I'll grab that for now. Zion Orb needs a star, which we'll get soon, hopefully. We have Overdrive, Reversal, Power. Hmm. When the rock reclaims shards, 50% of those shards are instead flung back into the pile. I'll use that one for now. See if that helps. I want that rock to give me back the shards. <laughs> There's double damage. Or 1.5 times damage. Either way, same concept. Look at this rock that's on fire right now. <laughs> Frozen and fire. Gotta love that. Purchase another X rocket there. Continuously trying to increase damage output. Got auto housing on as well. Nice. Now getting that Zion Orp I think would be a great help for me. Just need that star which I just got now. And now I have the Zion Orp. Very good. Okay, beautiful everyone. Let's see how that goes for my collection right now. So many rockets about to come down and hit this rock by the way. Watch this. You ready? Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that. 
So powerful. 10 million for the next rifle nork. Great. Gonna try and save up 7 mil, guys. Stop these guys getting shot back so much. Try and get that sticky floral residue. Alrighty, just purchased the residue, everyone. That means the Norp should not be knocked back as much anymore, hopefully. I can purchase more of these runners if I want to. Runners no longer need to jump. Okay, I'll use that. See if that helps. Collection rate's at 5 million, by the way. Pretty decent, bro. Quite a bit of damage output here as well. I'm waiting to get another Y rocket here. We're getting closer and closer to that next talent point, man. We might actually get in this run. That'd be incredible. Okay, just purchase the next Y rocket. Let's see how this goes down. Look at this, dude. Seriously. Oh my god, look at the Gattle Norp. <laughs> That's great. Great thing is now he doesn't have to run all the way back either. He can literally walk like five seconds back to the rock and begin all over again, which is going to increase damage output for sure. We're going to get the next talent, I reckon. We're seriously so close. I'm not even joking. Let me just increase capacity here for collection rate. We need more damage output though. We're actually doing too much damage at this point, which is hilarious to me. I never would have thought I'd be doing too much damage. But you can see my talent point there is, keeps filling up. It's because I keep purchasing the rifle norps, by the way. <laughs> I need that game to keep that damage up, man. Straight up. 10 million for the next rifle nor Let's see if I can get another one. You can see that bar at the top of the screen. It really wants to give that next talent, but I need to increase collection rate even more. About to purchase the next rifle nor everyone. We're getting closer and closer. Done. Just got it now. Dude, look at all these arrows, by the way. <laughs> Seriously, that's great. Okay, so the next rifle nor should help me a bunch, hopefully. We'll find out together here. Do need to continue to increase collection rate? Let me just purchase a whole bunch more runners. But I don't think we're doing enough damage output compared to collection rate. That's the thing here. Because you look at that talent bar at the top of the screen. It's getting very close to being full. But I need to pass 10 million collections somehow. It's because I've got nothing to collect at the moment. <laughs> Look at him go here, dude. Seriously. Out of control. These guys are just going way too fast. We're going to have to pause them here for a second. Let's see if they actually do pause. We'll find out together here. Got the drone actually giving some shards back. It's like 4 million damage output there. You can see it's barely moving the bar. It's pretty insane once you think about it. So in theory, the goal could be we continue just to hold this off here and hope it works. I don't know, though. We'll have to see. I'm a bit worried about reclamation. Look, right now, it doesn't really seem that I have the actual damage output to sustain this build. Now, you look at that experience bar at the top of the screen there, dude. Surely, I can get the next talent point. Like, look how close we are. Honestly, let me purchase more of these runners. Over 102 runners. Can I prestige? Oh, please, game. You're so close. You know you want to do it. 13 million collection rate. Yes, we got it. We got it right at the end. Dude, that's fantastic. I really was not expecting that. You have no idea how happy I am. 15 million collection rate right now, by the way. I'm prestiging straight away. For sure. That's done. Dude. Woo. Talk about intense. I'm so happy that build actually worked then. Alrighty, we now have 15 talent points. I'll see you all tomorrow for the next video. Cheers, guys.